More books, yay! <laughs> We'll basically be occupying this building over the next uh, weeks and months and aiming to get it reopened. It is already open, but to actually get it officially reopened as a, 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 you know, a community library resource, we're talking with the council about that. People actually stay here on a rotor basis, they don't live here all the time, we're just keeping the building open. But basically this building was given by the Carnegie Trust to the people of uh, Barnet and London that they could have you know, a library as a resource so that working people could have access to libraries. And we don't think the council actually has the right to sell it off. Thank you, sir. 21 days. I've just been missing this library terribly. Well, it was a real sort of community hub. I mean, my little boy liked coming here for various activities. When he was a tiny toddler, he used to bring him here for story time and, and arts and crafts at the library. It's very local, very easy access. Uh, it was open for, I think, six days a week, you know, a good amount of hours. The, the staff was really, really friendly, really nice and helpful. And also, even if we couldn't find what we wanted, which, you know, because it's not a big library, you could always order it and then you, you would res or reserve it and, and then you would receive it in a few days. The people that use the library most of all are the ones that, that are struggling financially, who don't have the resource to keep buying new books. Um, and it's important for your children to have a wide variety of choice where, where they can experiment with, with books. It's lovely to have this building in use because it was just such a waste just to have this empty. The way they shut it down so quickly, it, it was just unnecessary. I, I, love, I love doing this uh, sorts of activism where you can just connect people and, and, and make things happen instead of waiting for the officials to do something. Our part in it is um, to do some, some uh, fundraising and, and, and shows and workshops. So we want to see workshops, skill shares, lectures, maybe some free university courses if you can get those teachers and professors that we have uh, their contacts. Um, and, and, and of course shows that I said, cabaret shows, comedy shows, anything that can attract people and, and, and attract attention to this place. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Support you all the way. You know, what they've done here and their attempt to do to the service in Barnet is an absolute disgrace. As far as Barnet Council is concerned and as far as the current Tory government is concerned, it's save, save money and services don't matter. In fact, in fact, the quicker they can dispose of services, the, apparently the more money they believe they can save. This, this to me, is, is, is a disastrous policy. And how are you feeling being a, a volunteer librarian? It feels good. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, you know, we need to do something about it because people in this area feel very strongly about that. We, we did, we've, we've had so many activities here, we've had so many uh, protests that were really well attended and we've handed in thousands and thousands of, of signatures and, and petitions but fell on their fears so maybe this will work, I don't know, power. <laughs> What do you think the outcome will be of this action? The outcome of this action, uh, we'll, we'll have to see uh, basically whether the council is going to listen to the reason of the thousands and thousands of local people who want to keep it open or whether they're just going to make a decision based on you know, the money uh, situation. Why leave it empty? They're going to have it empty for six months to a year and a half. Why can't it be you know, run during that time very cheaply as a, you know, a library and a community resource?